Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Magic Kingdom. Today, I'm hanging out waiting for my group to be called or Tiana's Bio Adventure. It's currently opening day, but since I had a little bit of time on my hands, I thought I could sit down with you and chat with you about something that, I don't know, I feel like we need to talk about, and that is how to learn more information about Disney Vacation Club. Now, I know that this seems like a silly topic to discuss because one of the reasons that you guys come here and hang out with me is to learn more about Disney Vacation Club, but there's a really big difference between information that I share with you, which is my experience and knowledge based on my experience, and information that you're gonna get directly from Disney Vacation Club. And if you're considering buying Disney Vacation Club, what you want is information straight from the mouse's mouth. The other day I said the horse's mouth and Russ was like, missed opportunity, so I figured I'd just slide that in there. Anyway, this all comes from a conversation that I was having with a friend the other day. We were talking about Disney Vacation Club and she's considering purchasing Disney Vacation Club for her and her family. She's got a list of wants and needs, just like all families. And in that discussion, we talked about so much, but one of the things that we talked about is how to find out more information and what Disney Vacation Club might look like for them specifically in terms of how many points that they might need to purchase. Now, again, I know that there are some of you who have stumbled into today's discussion and you're thinking, I don't know what you're talking about. We have a playlist, which we'll link down below, where we have a lot of different discussions about DVC that might help you get on the same page with where we are now. But I don't know, I think you should hang around for this one because I think it's worth sitting and listening to. And I think that it's gonna point you in a direction that you want to be headed anyway. So admittedly, one of the biggest challenges when it comes to major purchases and talking to the people who are actually doing the selling is getting honest feedback and not being pressured. This is something that you hear all the time when people talk about timeshares, when people talk about going to car dealerships and stuff like that. Some people are more easily pressured than others. So what I'm about to say is gonna sound a little bit crazy, but I'm not trying to put you in a position that you don't wanna be in, and I wouldn't recommend this if I didn't think it was a good plan. So just keep that in mind. I think if you're considering Disney Vacation Club and you're not necessarily sure where to start, one of the best things you can do is go to the Disney Vacation Club website and poke around. Disney Vacation Club is going to be the best resource for basic information about Disney Vacation Club. And there you'll be able to see things like, for example, calculators that will help you figure out how many points is gonna work best for you and your family based on your wants and needs, the size of the room that you might need, the type of vacation that you take, the length of vacation that you take. The Disney Vacation Club website does have tools that I think are really, really great. Again, I will link these in the description down below for you. But one of the things that you can also do if you're considering buying Disney Vacation Club is talk to Disney Vacation Club representatives or go to a presentation when you're here at Walt Disney World, when you're over in Disneyland, or when you're on a Disney cruise. Now I know that not a lot of people wanna take time out of their day to do that. Vacations are expensive and time is money. Like, that is the theme of what it is that we do here, so it's not lost on me. But chatting with Disney Vacation Club representatives here in the parks, on a cruise, at a resort, it can be a great way to start a conversation, get some information, and uncover questions that you might not even realize you had. And the best part about this is that the way that Disney Vacation Club does their sales is much more casual than the way that pretty much any other vacation club or timeshare company does their sales. They're not pushy. They're there waiting for you to come to them in order to chat. They're not going to sit there and like try and force you into anything or try and pressure you into a sale, which I do think is really nice. I also find that everyone who's working the Disney Vacation Club kiosks tend to be very friendly and helpful. I talk to them all the time. I'm there all the time asking questions about my membership, asking questions about new properties, and never once have I ever felt pressured by them. It's just a conversation between friends. At least that's what it feels like. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm very well aware of what their job is. It's to get me chatting, to get me interested, and to look more into things so that I hopefully make a purchase. But that's a very stark contrast to what you can expect from, again, other vacation club or timeshare representatives that you'll find when you're vacationing. Now, another thing that Disney Vacation Club does is offer presentations. Now, they have separate presentations for members. They have others for non-members who are interested in becoming members. These can be really fun. They're a great way to just 
spend, I think it's like 30 minutes to an hour. You can go tour some Disney Vacation Club properties, take a look at the rooms and see what to expect. Now again, these are gonna be model rooms, so they're gonna be pristine, they're gonna be in great shape. That's one of the reasons that we like to do room tours so we can show you actual rooms and give you an idea of what to expect. But still, you'll see the layout, you'll see what they're offering and you can decide if that's right for you and your family. Of course, we always recommend that you supplement that. Watch some of our room tours, see what it looks like for an actual member in these actual rooms. You know, sometimes they're a little run down, sometimes they're a little worse for wear, but I think the combination of both can help you figure out what's gonna be right for you and your family. Just like with everything, you gotta do your research. Now again, I know there are some of you out there who are shaking your head at me going, I do not wanna do this because I do not wanna feel pressured into buying anything while I'm on vacation. I wanna reiterate that you don't have to. Disney knows that they have a great product in Disney Vacation Club, and they know that if you want it, you're gonna to come to them, so they don't need to reel you in. And that's how they manage their sales of Disney Vacation Club when you're doing these tours, when you're talking to people. So don't be afraid to ask questions, stop at a kiosk, see what they have to say, and ask multiple people at multiple kiosks if you're so inclined so you can get information from multiple sources. That can be a really helpful thing to do as well because some of these kiosks have people who are Disney Vacation club members themselves or have been doing this for such a long time that they have a little bit of different knowledge and information than others might so ask around again do your research but again I want to remind you of something that I said at the very beginning I know there are so many little tidbits that I'm sharing go over to the Disney Vacation Club website if you're thinking about DVC membership and you're not necessarily sure how to start or what it needs to look like for you and your family to make the most out of it and poke around their calculators they are so useful we use them ourselves especially when we're thinking about what contracts we might like to add in the future. It is really helpful and I think you'll get more out of it than you realize. But yeah, that's my quick little discussion for today. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me and uh, killing some time while we wait for our group to be called for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. At this point, I think you guys have hung out with me on that entire day and um, I hope we had fun. I hope it went well. But in real life, right now, in real time, I have no idea how the rest of today is gonna go, so wish me the best. <laughs> anyway, if you want more information about Disney Vacation Club or you wanna chat with me about any topics, maybe you wanna hang out with me here in the parks or over at Universal, hit that subscribe button, like this if you like this video, share your thoughts in a comment, and uh, join us for our next adventure, wherever it is and whatever it is that we end up doing. I'm sure it'll be a blast. Until then, have a great day, guys. Bye.